Hey, how's it going everyone? Uh, this video is kind of by request. Uh, there are a lot of you out there that are kind of wanting to mod your brawl sticks, but you know, I, I can understand it can be kind of frightening to open it up, you know, the first time and you might be a little reluctant to do it. So, you know, I went ahead and did it myself. And if you're familiar with any of the, you know, standard edition Street Fighter 4 fight sticks that came out, uh, you'll see that it looks pretty much exactly the same, right? Um, it all looks neat. It's all really, really easy to mod. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. It's, it's, it's pretty much as easy as they could make it, okay? So, you know, you have your buttons, obviously, and you got, you know, the wires that connect to them. You got your joystick over here. This is, you know, all modded, of course, with Samo parts. And, you know, it's, all you really have to do is unscrew some stuff, you know, if you want to switch out the joystick. And just take out, just pinch like this a little bit on the buttons to push them out and just disconnect them like that. Now, I don't know if this will focus, but you can see this is one of the original parts. You can see that little tab right there. You just push that in like that and push it, put, pull it out kind of, or you can push from the bottom and it'll come right out. Now, when you're detaching the, um, the wires from these little prongs right here, it might be kind of tough. It might feel like you can't really give a little bit. So you might need some pliers to kind of tug on it. So it'll, it'll come out easier that way. Let me, hold on. You will need one of these right here. Just kind of just grab it like this and just pull it up. Make sure you don't pull to the side or anything like that. Just pull it up and it should come right off. Okay. So you mean all you all you're really gonna need are some a screwdriver, just a regular Phillips head, and then a flathead one uh, to change out the ball right here. So you you put the flathead right there, and you hold it, and then you twist the ball right here, right, and it'll come right out. And you'll need just a regular screwdriver to unscrew these four screws right here, right there, and. There's kind of going to be a lot of glue on certain areas, like on the screws and on this plug right here. And that, this plug is pretty easy. It just comes off. It comes right off like that. And it'll fit right onto the sandwall part, too. Like, it's seriously as easy as, you know, plugging in your your headphones to your iPhone or whatever. It's, it's super, super simple. This is the stock part right here. You can see it looks relatively the same. These are where the screws go. Like that. This is where that little prong goes again. And uh, yeah, just plug it in right there and you should be fine. Yeah, so my recommendation is, is that you take a picture of the inside before you start messing around with stuff because, you know, maybe you won't do it all right away or, you know, you'll forget where certain buttons go or where not certain wires. So it's just good to have that kind of reference, you know. And like I kind of stated in my other videos that Mad Cats kind of makes this easy for you to be able to mod it because they kind of expect their users to, you know, to take out, you know, the the lower quality parts and replace them with, you know, the higher quality ones maybe. Just to get the experience, to save a few dollars, you know, instead of, you know, going all out getting the $150 TE or whatever, you can save a few bucks and get the experience. So yeah, that's about it. Yeah, hit me up if you have any questions, but really is that simple. I don't be afraid to void your warranty. I think, you know, most of the Mad Cats kind of expects that, you know, expects their users to do it. Um, it, you know, it's, it's super easy to repair if you do changing, especially if you just want to change the gate or something. It, it's, it's easy, you know, all you have to do is like pinch these, pops right out, then you slide the other one right on. And it's, like I said, it's super easy. It's as easy as they can make it, but you know, I know a lot of you still are kind of reluctant to do so, but, you know, I say go ahead and try it. You know, don't don't be scared of it. It'll be fine. You know, like, you really got to be, like, <laughs> just not good with electronics at all to be able to screw this up. Or just, you know, have your, have your friend help you or something. Anybody with experience, you know, with just plugging in wires, whatever, should be able to do this, unscrewing stuff. It's not hard. It doesn't take any soldering or anything like that. No, you know... You don't need any electrical devices and whatnot. I watched a video of this guy modding his <laughs> Tekken 6 stick, and he had to do all this crazy stuff to it. Like, he had to, uh, like, make the holes bigger right here. You don't need to make the holes bigger at all. 
uh, he had to like solder like the parts, the PCP board to the buttons. They weren't wires like this. He had to like um, screw holes into like his his uh, restrictor gate right here to make it fit on because he was changing it to an octagon gate. And I'm thinking like, man, what a waste. Because <laughs> like, I mean, the Tekken Six Stick is all right for like you know beginner players, but you know he's trying to mod it so he can like it can be halfway decent, and I just think that's kind of a waste. But yeah, anyway, uh, like I said, that's about it. So, yeah, don't be afraid to do it, and shoot me any questions if you guys have any. Thanks a lot.